Two stories have been dominating the news cycle lately, immigration and infrastructure. Tonight, a suggestion to address both. It's not complicated, but like almost everything in politics today, it would be controversial. Three words, finish the wall. Now set aside your feelings either way on this for a minute and think about a couple of things. Walls are ugly dividers. They're expensive and they're not a guaranteed roadblock. We saw that just the other day when a smuggler dropped two young children over a 14-foot wall onto U.S. soil. Those kids became two more of the thousands of unaccompanied minors now in U.S. custody. But the wall is already part of a comprehensive U.S. plan at the border that is primarily in place albeit with some holes in it. One of the first things President Biden did was stop construction. Why not finish it? And here's a thought. Let's just say the president added a line item to his new $2 trillion infrastructure bill. In addition to roads and bridges, we finished the wall. It would certainly make it harder for Republicans to vote no on the plan, wouldn't it? A wall would qualify as infrastructure far more than some of the other things Republicans are questioning in the bill. Something for everyone and perhaps a bipartisan deal that sails through Congress. Just last night, we talked with a reporter who traveled with migrants from Central America trying to get to the U.S. At the border, he documented family after family crossing through an open area of the border. Here's what he told us last night. This trip, I actually just, all I encountered, I didn't encounter any construction teams working actively, but I did encounter a large parking lot full of uh, fence that was just sitting there, um, clearly not being, uh, nothing being done with it. Border agents apprehended 170,000 people at the border last month alone, a 15-year high. That's nearly as many people as the population of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and more than Jackson, Mississippi. Again, in a single month, unaccompanied minors are streaming over the border in numbers the U.S. is struggling to process and handle in the humane way they're seeking. Vice President Kamala Harris was put in charge of the border crisis two weeks ago. She still hasn't visited, and there have been no visible changes, plans, or ideas to address the situation. We all remember the outcry over President Trump's plan to finish the wall and have Mexico pay for it. We will build a great wall along the southern border, and Mexico will pay for the wall. So that second point became a punchline, and the wall has been a point of contention ever since. But wouldn't finishing it accomplish a number of things pragmatically and politically? Conservative New York Times columnist Brett Stevens, not a fan of President Trump, writes, the wall is an imperfect but functional deterrent against the most reckless forms of border crossing. It's a barrier against sudden future surges of mass migration. Yes, it has been divisive, as barriers are almost inherently designed to be. Many Texas Democrats are holding President Biden to his campaign promise not to build another foot of wall. But it's already underway. Now that Congress is debating a massive construction bill, why not send some of those backhoes down to the border and finish the job while we're at it? Just a question. And it's one we'd like to pose to Sheriff Eusebio Salinas of Zavala County, Texas, who joins us now. Sheriff, uh, what are your thoughts on the border wall? Should we reconsider finishing it? Well, something has to be done because I've been the sheriff for, of my county for over 25 years, and I've never seen this amount of people trying to cross over into our country. So we're, we need to do something to stop this flow of people coming through. We looked at the map, Sheriff, and where the wall is in relation to uh, your county there. You're about, as I could tell, uh, 60 miles or so from the border, and it looked like a very mountainous desert area. Is there a wall near your county, or how are people getting across that you're ultimately encountering? Our problem is they're being transported. They're walking around the checkpoints and then they're loading up into vehicles and going through my county into the interior of Texas. So how are you encountering them? And when you do, how is that? How are, how are you coming across them? Mostly in stolen vehicles, chases, police chases, which uh, endangers not only the people inside the vehicle, but also my, my citizens and other people operating their vehicles on our public roadways. And what happens after you arrest them? Uh, we have been charging them with state charges for human smuggling, and I've got uh, my jail pretty much full with people that we've arrested from, and none of them are locals. They're all from out of town, Houston, Austin, 
uh, Dallas. Uh, we've had as far as Florida, people driving down from Florida to pick up people along the border. How is this different than what you've seen in the past? You say you've been a sheriff there for quite some time. How is this different? Uh, just the volume of people trying to cross and, and the chases. We averaged uh, this past Saturday, we averaged three high speed chases in my county and, and that on one roadway. That is way too many to put too many people in danger because that roadway is a major corridor into the state of Coahuila, Mexico. And when you get these folks in jail, what are they telling you? Where did they come from? Uh, most of them are Central and South Americans. Uh, we are releasing those to Border Patrol. Border Patrol, honestly, is being overrun. Uh, it takes sometimes up to an hour or more for a Border Patrol agent to make our location. So that means my deputy is tied up with the human smuggler and the witnesses for over an hour on the on the roadway before we can get him to jail. What are you hearing from other sheriffs and other colleagues of yours in law enforcement about the situation near the border there in Texas? Uh, they're also experiencing the same thing. The valley is is, is the one that's being hardest hit uh, further south of, from where I'm, I'm located at. Uh, they are being really hit hard. My neighboring county, Bimit County, they're having chases too, just as much as we are. My neighbor to the north is having chases just as much as we are. It, it's just overwhelming us. It, 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 for a small department as I am, I've got 1,325 square miles to cover in my county, and I only have 14 deputies to cover. And then when we ha we're tied up for over an hour on the side of the road, uh, that means that we're not answering calls. What should be done, in your opinion, to try to stem this tide? Prosecution. A lot of these people, uh, because I know, understand, because of COVID, hit, I, 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 it hit me hard, too. Uh, my jail, personally, too. I was in the hospital for over 35 days. Uh, it, it's difficult, but we've caught one female three times in less than a month. Her, she transporting illegal aliens. Who is that? You, this is a uh, coyote. I don't remember. You said? Off, uh, a coyote, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. She was getting paid to transport these people, and we arrested her three times. Um, all right, Sheriff Eusebio Salinas of Zavala County, Texas. We appreciate your view from the border down there, close to it, 60 miles or so. And thanks for your time. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you. After Major League Baseball moved the All-Star Game out of Atlanta, are more boycotts brewing as Republicans set their sights on what they call woke capitalism. And President Biden restarts talks with Iran on a nuclear deal. What kind of chain reaction will the president's move have as he attempts to turn back the clock on the 2015 agreement? And there are late developments on that. Plus, starting tomorrow, we begin our free speech theme. Here on The Donlin Report, we'll dive into free speech. And the First Amendment, is free speech under assault? Who decides what's free and what isn't? Tune in this week on The Donlin Report. And don't forget,